For most of the year, Asila is a sleepy seaside town. But come summer, it bursts into life. Hundreds of artists flock the streets to paint its whitewashed walls. Launched over 30 years ago, the event is meant to rehabilitate what was once a decaying town. Over the years, the festival has grown to incorporate other countries. This year, for instance, the Gulf Kingdom of Bahrain made the headlines. Every year, we discover different countries and different cultures. This year, we've discovered talented artists from Bahrain who've participated in the painting and engraving workshops. The festival has grown over the years and now embraces events like fashion shows and workshops where artists get to meet and exchange ideas. The event has also set up various projects to uplift poor communities. One such project includes several housing developments, a bus station, and a new road linking Asila and Tangier, the capital of Morocco. The doubling of the road will help to reduce the time spent traveling between Tangier and Asila. At the moment, it takes about 35 minutes. It will go down to 50 minutes, in other words, 20 minutes less. For people working in the industrial zone of Tangier and the free zones, and also those who want to visit Asila for sport of tourism during the summer or on their annual holiday. In addition, the bus project which dovetails perfectly with the huge redevelopment of the north of Morocco, more precisely with the Tangier metropolitan aspect of the plan. The event has over the years led to an influx of both artists and tourists, turning the town's fortunes around. This year's murals will stay in place for the duration of the festival before the walls are whitewashed again, ready for next year's artists to make their mark. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.